Hello and welcome to this Nexperia quick learning video. So our MOSFETs performance is typically based on a figure of merit. This figure of merit is QG total times RDSR. The industry has been working towards reducing both parameters, but when selecting a MOSFET, other parameters are often forgotten. These parameters are body dialed VF, QGD and QRR, which all play a significant role in having a more efficient device. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the body dialed VF and the QRR. What we have here is a simplified version of a book converter. Both the body dialed VF and the QRR play a significant role in increasing efficiency and reducing spiking. And they also play a role in both half bridge and full bridge configurations. Now the stored charge within the inductor of this circuit has to go somewhere when both MOSFETs are off. The way that it flows is it flows through the body dialed of the low side MOSFET storing charge naturally and this charge has to be removed at some point when the high side switch is on. By doing that an increase of IRR is to counter react the storage charge within the low side of the MOSFET. By doing that it increases I squared R losses in, on the high side of the MOSFET but actually I want to dive a little bit deeper into understanding what is the impact of IRR. We have a low QRR product waveform shown in petrol blue with the simulation orange waveform is a representation if we doubled the QRR value. What we can see is that the IRR can be reduced by up to 50% for a low QRR type and that the device which is double the QRR result in addition energy loss is shown by the shaded area. Low IRR also helps having a higher softness factor and gives lower ringing and resonance. This can help with you in your application by having shorter dead times and improving efficiency further. One of the key factors of low IRR is that the ringing and resonance contributes to lower EMI emissions. So we have talked about the impacts of IRR, now let's look at the impacts of the voltage. The IRR also interacts with parasitic inductance from the PCB and the MOSFET's lead frame to cause such voltage spikes. Now what we see by reducing the QRR and IRR results in lowering spiking and therefore reducing energy loss and increasing efficiency. So the graph that we have here is RDS on versus efficiency and it's efficiency at 20 amps with 100 kilohertz switching. Each color represents a different vendor's products. These products are 80 or 100 volts. The white line represents Nexperia's Nexpower 80 and 100 volt products. But what we can take away from this is that we have a wide range of RDS on products with high efficiency. On the other side of the graph, we have the same. We have RDSO, but this time against switch node spiking when we have a V in of 48 volts. What we can take away from this is that we have very low spiking across a wide range of RDSOs. The message that we want to take away from this is that QG Total and RDSO are not just the only parameters you need to consider when selecting a MOSFET. You need to have a look at other parameters that help you have efficiency gains and low spiking. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to know more information, please visit nextperiod.com.